Hello, this is Drake of Flame 67, and welcome back to the Tales of Symphonia boss tour remastered. This time we are fighting Yggdrasil. Uh, at the end of this time through the Tower of Salvation, Yggdrasil will ambush you and uh, and fight you. Uh, you can see I have I'm at the save point uh, right at the start of the dungeon. Uh, the exit is not. The exit is uh, not far from the entrance after having gone through the dungeon, but on your way out, uh, he will challenge he will challenge you to a fight, and you have to survive for one minute and deal uh, one quarter of his health. Um, the first time you fought him at the Tower of Salvation, died. Uh, it was impossible to win, and in fact, uh, I recommended that you lose as efficiently as possible. This time around, if your entire party gets KO'd, it is a game over, uh, so you do have to survive. Um, given the nature of this fight, I don't think it's worth showing on normal mode, but I think it is worth showing on normal, on mania mode. Because Yggdrasil has double the health, that means you have to deal twice as much damage uh, before uh, before the fight will end. And I'm going to show you what my um, what I think uh, is the best way to approach this fight. Um, like all versions of Yggdrasil, uh, he's weak to dark and immune to light. That immunity to light means that rain probably isn't a good choice to enter this fight because Photon is not going to do anything. At least with other angels that resist light, Photon is still useful for stunning, but Photon can't even do that against this guy. So, instead of rain, I have Zelos as the uh, as my dedicated healer. You'll also notice that uh, my party is Persea, Colette, Genus, and Zelos. Uh, if you've seen the previous boss, you will, uh, you'll understand why I have Persea and Colette both in the party. Uh, they both have Solar Guard, which means they have Light Resist. Uh, and Zelos is still equipped with the Beam Shield for Light Resist. Uh, Yggdrasil has several Light Spells, uh, Ray, Holy Lance, uh, he likes casting both of them. So it's important to have, uh, to have Light Resist on as many characters as possible. Uh, however, there are more, some more important things, and, uh, I do have a different piece of equipment on on Genus instead of the Stun Charm, as you might think. Um, let's talk about that equipment. Um, Persea has Solar Guard for uh, Light and Fire Resist. Um, the uh, Amethyst, to give Dark Element damage, again, uh, Yggdrasil is weak to Dark, so uh, I want one character doing Dark damage, so uh, she has uh, the Amethyst. Flare Cape gives, uh, it gives Fire Resist, but more importantly, it gives Earth Resist. Uh, Colette has the Ruby, also for Earth Resist. Uh, Yggdrasil can cast Ground Dasher when he's close to that three-quarter health mark. Uh, and, um, from, from when I fought him on Normal, it seemed like, uh, he prefers casting Ground Dasher on, uh, uh, on your characters that are approaching him in melee. Meanwhile, he prefers casting Thunder Arrow on uh, on your casters, which is why Genus has Thunder Cape and Zelos has the Sardonyx, uh, so they have Lightning Resist. And then uh, every character except Persea has a Black Onyx for more health, because uh, Yggdrasil also has some very hard-hitting non-elemental attacks, and they need as much health as they can. And right now, it's 
really not a very good idea to equip a protect ring because that gives you a weakness to all elements and you need elemental resistance here. Um, uh, regarding strategy, while I said, uh, while I have Colette with Earth Resist, I have her on L range skills, but that's still going to mean that Colette is going to get fairly close to Eudrasiel, and um, in order to use Torrential Parable, which means she could get hit with a Ground Dasher anyway. Uh, and like with the previous boss, I have Torrential Parable as the only skill that uh, Colette has enabled, other than Damage Guard. Um, Prisea, uh, similar uh, similar setup to the previous boss on Mania, just instead of Eternal Damnation on down, I have Rising Punishment on down. That is for our Unison attack, which on normal mode in a fresh playthrough, I wouldn't recommend burning your Unison attack on uh, on this fight, because you get no experience, and um, probably better, there's probably a better use of um, there's probably a better use of your unison attack, and in addition, uh, you'll you'll be able to do 10,000 points of damage even without it fairly easily. But to get that 20,000 points of damage and to interrupt a spell, um, I am going to be using the unison attack here. I have rising punishment on down. Genus has indignation on down. Those combine to make lightning punishment, and then Zelos has demon spear. Colette has ring cyclone to round it out. Um, regarding X skills, uh, Persea has, again, to, in keeping with the, uh, unison attack, uh, tough and eternal, make unison force. So, uh, so when I do use the unison attack, it will do a bit more damage. Uh, hopefully that will help get, uh, Idrasiel down to that 60,000 HP, uh, fairly quickly, so it will end, uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, vitality for more health, uh, heavy hit for uh, extra stun. Uh, Colette has Life Thief and Spirit Thief, and her fourth X skill is just tough for more defense. Genus is on Randomizer, so his absolutes can sometimes not interrupt uh, Genus's, or not Genus's, Zelos's healing streams. Um, and for Zelos, uh, his, uh, his X gem max is set to speed cast, so uh, his spells will come out more quickly. Uh, and regarding Zelos' techs, uh, he has first aid and healing stream enabled. The only, uh, damaging spell I have is lightning. It's, uh, it's a level one, so it doesn't interrupt absolute. And, um, Yggdrasil, uh, can teleport and can, um, and he's kind of high up in the air, which means that Fireball, uh, can... It, he can lose, you can lose track of fire, Fireball fairly easily. Uh, he may not be hit by the by some hits in Stone Blast. And Lightning comes out faster than Windblade, uh, which is why I have Lightning uh, enabled instead of Windblade. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's it for uh, strategy. Uh, I will see you in the battle. And because there's still a fair distance away from that battle, uh, I'm going to need to use a Holy Bottle to avoid encounters. But I will see you there. Let's see this battle against Yggdrasil on Mania. However, first, you'll hand over the Chosen. No, I won't let you! You have no choice. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Die! Ready for this? Holy Lance! Begin. Ring Cyclone! Rising punishment! A weakness! Indignation! Demon Spear! Go! Lightning punishment! <laughs> That's all. Perish. Torrential power. Oh, oh. Healing scream. Eternal devastation. That's 
soul. Ready for this? Absolute. That's all. Endless Healing stream. Apparently, you don't need the full quarter. Anyway, that was the battle with the Drassil on Mania. Um, I think burning the unison attack was worth it to shorten the fight because uh, I don't know how many of those hits I could have taken before uh, the party died. Uh, this has been Draco Flame 67 with the Tales of Symphonia Boss Tour Remastered. I will see you next time.